just obviously a, a very impressive uh, victory for you tonight, man. How good does uh, this moment feel? Amazing. Um, yeah. You've been covering this sport long enough. You know how I feel right now. I'm on cloud nine. Um, the human mind is a powerful tool. Um, you either let it overcome you or you or you you know bite down, believe in yourself, and, and go out there and put it on the line. Um, that's all we can ask of ourselves in this sport. It's very unforgiving, and uh, I put it on the line, and I love it. I love this more than most. A picnic. <laughs> uh, it seems you called your shot. I mean, you were joking with me. You're like, hey, I'm going to knock him out in the first round for you. But you said he gets hit moving backwards, and that's exactly yeah. what happened. I mean, did you know all along this is how this fight is going to end? No, I never said I was going to knock him out. I don't think I did. Um, no. I go in there prepared for, for war, for, for the, to give the ultimate sacrifice. I will, you know, I live and die for this. And um, my parents don't like to hear that, but that's, that's what it is. I, I love it. I was... Training, I've been training since this, or for this, since I was four years old. And, um, you know, I'm, there's, there's no one that's ever worked harder than me or longer than me. Um, so it is what it is. Do you, do you kind of like not having to go through a battle to pick up your yes, paycheck? Yes, I love it. I love it. I did say before this I was going for a performance that night. Someone else could have fight of the night. So I'm glad that I, I proved that one true for myself, for my family, for my health, um, and so I can fight again sooner. Did anything he do bother you at all? I mean, he, did, he hit you in the body a couple times. Some of those yeah, his body kick. Out there. He threw one kick. Yeah, the body kick. One, uh, one hit me. Hurt. He touched my liver a little bit. Yeah. It but, looked like uh, it staggered you just for a second. No, staggered me. Well, How? The what liver shot. Me? Like it looked like he slowed down just for a second, and then you kind of. You've never been hitting liver. You've never been bit. hitting the liver, have you? Well, I've been. It, it a long, it's been a long time. It's been a long, long yeah, time. Yeah, you don't. You don't get staggered from a liver <laughs> shot. Uh, you get staggered from a chin piece shot, like. You know, you saw him trying to get off the stool, and he was still staggered five minutes later. That's that's what happens when you get hit in the chin. When you get hit in the body, you know, your body shuts down, but you don't stagger right. by any means. And I know you said that, you know, you were respectful. I said, listen, man, I, I, I'm not going to call out anything or whatever. You know, I'm just getting back in the wind column. But, but what do you think should this should get for you? I mean, are there dates, locations? It should give me a business sense? meeting with the UFC. That's what it should get me. Looking to, looking to work a new deal? Uh, yeah, it's four fights right now. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I want to fight the best. You want me to fight? You know, I'm happy with the UFC. I'm not not I'm not unhappy with them at all. But you know, the way I put it on the line, I need all my money up front, and that's how it should work for me. For people like me, uh, they should use me as an example. Um, if you want all your money, you fight like Justin Gaethje. Okay. Well, we were talking about yesterday uh, about your style uh, that. Mexican people, Latin people really relate to it. Uh, once again, you did the same. What can you tell us about it? Hey, I'm white on the outside and brown on the inside. <laughs> and you know that when you see me fight. Uh, my Nana does not speak English. Um, I am about 62.5% Mexican, <laughs> and you could tell every single time I step in there. Turns out Homer Simpson has a little bit of power, huh? <laughs> yeah. Again, yeah. You know, the more you talk, you have to understand. You, can't, you know, you've, We've seen it multiple times with I don't even want to name names, but we'll name James Vick. You know, it's going to be hard for him to, to look himself in the mirror tomorrow, and that was my plan. You know, I don't want him to look himself in the mirror tomorrow. He's not going to. I know it's all still fresh and everything, but looking at uh, the guys ranked right in your general area, the only one that's free is Kevin Lee. Would that be something that potentially... Hey, I'm, right now, I'm literally, I've fought four times in 13 months. Like, give me a break. Let me go to, let me go. I've never been to Hawaii. I've never been to Jamaica. I've never bought a house. Like, let me do some things uh, before you put me back in camp. I've been in camp for 12 months straight, you know? I do 12 week camps. That's three months. And I've done four fights in the last 13 months. That means I've been in camp. I've been out of camp maybe one month. Um, and that was when I was filming The Ultimate Fighter. So I wasn't out of camp. I've been training for the last 13 months. And I would like a break. So ideally, not a long break. I was gonna say, yeah, Don't ideally. know. Don't know. Guys, right now I'm I'm flying. Like tomorrow would be nice, but uh, <laughs> no, I'm flying high on emotions right now. You know, I don't think that you should make rash decisions when you're flying high on emotions. I think I need to go back, talk to my team, talk to my manager, talk to my parents, and see when their hearts can deal with it again. Six months. Six months. We'll see. Now you said before the fight that you were gonna, this fight would be a little bit more patient. Um, how did you see that as actually being a little more patient? Yeah, pretty, I, pretty quick. Anyways. Well, patient with uh, my punch count. Like I, I needed to get my feet there before, you know. Um, 
I think it's super hard, so I need to get my feet there before I start throwing punches. Uh, there's no reason for me to start swinging from the outside. Uh, I need to get my feet there, get my head to his chest, and then make it a fight. That's what I had to do with James. Um, yeah, you know, every time I see him fight, he, he you know, he, he's not good in that position. So I had to be in that position as much as possible. There was a lot of tension before this fight, but it seemed like you were pretty respectful afterwards. What what did you say to him? I said, it's what we do, man. It could have been me. It could have been you. Um, unforgiving sport. You know, I don't want to shit on that guy right now. Uh, he's going to shit on himself enough because you, you can't talk yourself. You can't talk that kind of game and then not, you know, you need to be true to yourself. And if that is James, then, yeah, you know, fuck him. But, if you know, I don't think it is. I don't think he's that kind of guy. Uh, you know, he has family at home, and he needs to represent them like he needs to represent them. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad that I taught him a lesson. I spoke with Brandon Gertz before the fight. He couldn't be here. He had other obligations. But he, uh, as soon as your, your knockout happened, he went crazy on Twitter. I'm sure. Yeah. Hey, you know, you live and die with your teammates. Um, and you, you're all in with them. Um, so, yeah, he's someone I've spent a lot of time getting punched and punching. So, yeah, of course he's happy for me. Um, you know, we win as a team, lose as a team. Did his range any specific threat to you that you felt? No, not really, no. I did a good job at um, controlling distance. Uh, I never moved backwards. I took a couple steps backwards, so I'll give him credit in that that regard. But no, I really just, um, you know, I worked on being patient with my with my punches, but not with my feet. I'm never going to stop pressuring people. I, you know, you will, you either go in there, understand what you have to go through, or, you know, you are just out of your, out of your, realm because I will pressure you and you will have to fight my fight. It's impossible to not fight my fight when you fight me. Um, Dustin and Eddie did a great job at fighting my fight. Um, dug deep, savvy veterans. Um, and I'd love to get both of those back. I guess I want to talk your confidence level. Um, is it, would you say it's back to where you were when you're undefeated or did it never drop off after your two losses? Yeah, I mean, I'm human. Um, we're all under. You have to understand, like, like I said, I'll say it. You know, again, the human brain. Um, you know, you have to, you have to control your thought process. It's so easy to let negative thoughts overcome the positives. But, you know, I've worked hard since I was four years old. I represent my family. I represent my friends and the people that believe in me. And, uh, no, I was never, not confident in um, my ability to represent them. And that's what I went out there and did. After your fight with Dustin, you said you might have about five fights left. Are you still thinking about four now? I said five wars. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> so five left still. Five wars. All right. Yep. Sign up, boys.